Today is an exciting day for me because today marks 1,000 days of intermittent alternate day fasting. Technically, I guess I've kind of thrown in some other options here and there, like doing 4-3 method for a while, but in reality, that doesn't matter. It's been a thousand days since I've changed to doing a healthier lifestyle and changed for the better. And I've become who I am today because of fasting and I cannot thank it enough. If it was a person, I would, I would hug it basically is what I'm saying. But with that being said, I really want to take today to reflect on how far I've come. I thought it would be really fun to do a reaction video with you guys of my first video that I did on intermittent fasting. It's an intro video. It's very amateur, let's just say that. I haven't watched it since I posted it, so I have no idea what I even talk about or how many things have changed since I posted it or anything like that. So we're gonna watch it together and see just what I say and have changed between now and then, you know, cause I'm sure that's happened. But anyway, I'm gonna be watching it on my phone here. Hopefully I can figure out a way to crop this into the video that you guys are watching. I'm not good with technology. And we'll see what my first intermittent fasting intro video is all about, shall we? I'm so nervous to watch this. I don't even wanna push play, but I'm going to. So here we go, people. What's up, party people? All 10 of you watching this, you're probably laying in bed right now on your cell phone and came across this on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching, Bowser, and I really appreciate it. Look how cute he is. I love my puppy. He is so cute. He thinks I'm crazy. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit um, to get a little bit more warmed up to camera. I made a makeup tutorial video. Well, not even a tutorial. It was just a swatch video a couple days ago, and it was kind of not a disaster exactly, <laughs> but... I was really nervous in front of the camera because I've never talked in front of a camera before. <laughs> oh God, Shout but out, Scotty. editing. I'm here today to talk a little bit about intermittent fasting and what I do as an intermittent faster. I am an alternate day, alternate day oh, intermittent girl. faster. And I eat every other day. Um, let's see, my schedule, my makeup I does eat not match. 8.30 in the morning and 8.30 at night. Um, if I do eat, I try not to go over uh, my TDEE, -E, which is Total Daily Energy Ex Expenditure. I think that's how it's said. I'm not quite 100% sure. Nope. <laughs> which is, for me, my weight, age, the job that I do to keep the weight that I'm at now, I would have to eat like 2,056 calories a day, which, I mean, that's a lot of freaking calories. I don't want to eat that, and I don't want to maintain my weight. So I try to stay between my BMR, which is the basal metabolic rate. Oh my God, do you see how cute he is? And <laughs> my TDE. Um, I allow myself on my Lose It app, which I use, um, Still use 1,788 that one. calories, I believe. Um, and I basically calorie count. If I go a little bit over, I used to be really bad about this. I used to hate going over. I would beat myself up. Honestly, I was like, oh my god, this isn't worrying, blah, blah, blah. It's not true at all. If you go over, I'm still under my TDEE. And if I'm not eating the day before, typically a span of 36 hours, I'm fine. It's taken me a long time to realize that. And I still struggle with it on the daily. You can ask Ian because he'll tell you all about it. I am going to be talking about... Uh, different things that I do for fasting. I'm going to post videos on Sundays. Um, That's changed try too. I to post videos on Sundays and kind of go over my week. Like the meals that I've made, <laughs> the activities I've done. I'm going to talk about uh, my strengths and weaknesses during the week. Um, I think that's a big one for a lot of people who want to try intermittent fasting. They don't know what the strengths and weaknesses are. Now, I'll probably post another video before I post my one on Sunday so that everybody can kind of get a more in-depth look at what I do. Um, kind of go over the first two months since the fifth was two months of intermittent fasting and I lost 26 pounds. Oh. Which to me, when I weighed myself on Sunday, I was kind of disappointed, which is stupid. And I'm afraid, and I've talked this through with a couple people. That's so true. I remember the day that I weighed myself on my second month and I only gone down like nine pounds and I was like disappointed about it but I still lost nine pounds like come on girl get your stuff together that I am 
going to become or have the mindset of somebody who's anorexic, who thinks they're not good enough. They're never going to be good enough. It's not enough. It's never enough. And it's just an endless cycle. I don't want to be that way. I mean, 26 pounds in two months is a big, a big deal. And I know that, but I still feel like I have a long ways to go, which I do. My goal is to lose 50 pounds within the first year of intermittent fasting. I'm going a whole week. Yeah, so I lost 50 pounds in like five months. So that was uh, something I did not know then that I know now. A year, I know, 10 more months to go. Um, and 26 pounds, that's more than halfway to my goal. And I've already lost that. That's a big deal. And in the beginning, I was super afraid that um, I wasn't really losing it. And I was like, even though the seal was sitting there in front of me and I was measuring myself, it was like, this can't be real. Like, am I really losing weight? Like I was in, I was in denial so much and I still kind of am. But the thing is, that's ridiculous because whenever I put on clothes, like the shirt that I'm wearing today was something that I wouldn't have worn last year because it felt too tight and I was uncomfortable. Or these jeans, like they were so tight, I felt uncomfortable. And I keep trying to pull them up today. Like they're not wanting to stay up. <laughs> I've also gained so much confidence from doing this. And in that two months. in itself amazes me because I used to be somebody who hid. Like I was afraid. I didn't want to go out in public. I didn't want to wear clothes that made me feel like I was standing out. I wanted to wear something baggy because I was afraid of the way my body looked. Yeah, that's so true. I had such bad confidence issues during this entire time. And it was in like in this video I'm talking to you guys about how like I had more confidence. I really still didn't have much confidence at all. I didn't start getting confidence until recently, if we're really honest. Um I was still struggling so much with myself at this point, which is kind of crazy to think of. And it's just been a whole mind-blowing experience, gaining confidence, wanting to start a YouTube channel, like who am I? Like that in itself is something quite amazing. Um, I mean, wearing clothes that I haven't worn in a while, being told by strangers on the internet that I'm beautiful or pretty or people that I don't even know. Um, walking by and saying stuff like that to me like that has never happened before and it could be the weight loss it could be the way I'm wearing my makeup or what I'm wearing or it could be my confidence so intermittent fasting has honestly boosted my confidence level from like the way down here to like way up here I mean it's astronomical the difference that I feel and the way I feel and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. Um, I weigh in again. I'm going to do a monthly weigh on uh, December. Holy moly, we're already in November. I'm going to do a monthly weigh in and I'm going to do it again on December 5th. And that'll kind of um, give me an idea of how much I've lost this month. 17 pounds the first month and 9 pounds oh. the second month, which of course equals 26 pounds. So 26 pounds within the first two months. Um, I want to lose 50 pounds in a year. I don't know if I'm going to plateau or not. I've not really seen a lot of people say anything about it. One of the blog posts that I follow or um, that I got interested or intrigued by this idea, she lost 50 pounds. Maya. She wasn't even working out. Like, that was just purely intermittent fasting. And that's what inspired me to do this, um, honestly. <laughs> and... Uh, it's just one of those experiences that I think I'm really going to enjoy in life and it's going to be a good one and things are looking up and I'm already excited for the December weigh-in just because I want to know how much I'm going to lose this month. Um, the holidays are coming up of course and Thanksgiving and Christmas fall on fasting days which kind of sucks but screw it. I'm eating. It's the holidays like hello. Pecan pie, cheesecake, like, let's go. That's what I'm <laughs> I to. still do that today. Yes. Oh my god, bread. Bread is a weakness of mine. Uh, Not so much anymore. Bread. Yeah, I mean, that's really it on this post. Stay tuned for Sunday. I'm probably going to post another one, like I said, between now and then. Kind of talking about what got me started on intermittent fasting. And uh, some questions and answers. So if you guys have any questions, 
feel free to reach out and ask me, and I'll try to answer them in the next video I do. Like I said, I'm going to try to post it before my Sunday one, but if that doesn't happen, um, I'm going to post it afterwards. Try to get out at least one to two videos a week <clears throat> just of my progress. So, yeah, let me know what you guys want to know, um, what you want to hear, Gosh. if there's anything I can help you with whenever it comes to understanding this process that I'm doing, this amazing process that I'm doing, and I will see you guys later. Wow. Oh God, bloopers. Oh no. and 16 seconds into this video and I haven't even started talking yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too much. OMG. Well, obviously I wasn't that informative in that first video and I said a lot of ums, which is something I still kind of struggle with today. And I obviously lacked a lot of confidence and knowledge when it came to technology and making videos and editing and things like that. That's just super weird for me to see the old me like that though, like, it <laughs> it just doesn't look like me anymore. It's crazy to think that that was me. And I was already two months along in my journey, and now here I am, over two and a half years into my journey, a thousand days. It's just, it kind of blows my mind, um, to be honest. That's just really crazy to see. I'm so incredibly thankful for everything that I've learned along the way though and um, how much I've changed. You know, originally when I started out this whole plan, I was doing just intermittent fasting. I wasn't working out or anything and now you guys know I do lifting and I do all this cardio and I work out six days a week and my food choices have changed and my calorie count has changed. You know, in that video I was talking about how, wow, 2,000 and something calories a day, that's so many to eat. Now I eat about 21, 2,200 calories on my eat days because I'm working out so often and everything like that and uh, you know back then I wasn't doing anything I was sedentary and I was still eating between my BMR and my TDEE kind of like the video that I uh, talked to you guys about where I calculated it for the beginning of my journey I just yeah I'm so proud of myself I guess <laughs> and I am very rarely ever proud of myself but seeing that was just a uh, kind of an eye-opening I've never rewatched any of my old vlogs. Bowser was super annoying in that video. <laughs> I'm really anxious to see where I'll be next year. Um, I don't plan on quitting for a while, mostly because I'm seeing some amazing results with what I've been doing, the autophagy benefits. My skin is healing, which is something I wasn't expecting to happen this dramatically, but it is. And uh, when the time comes, I'll share those results with you guys. But for right now, just seeing the progress that I've made from that time, 2017 to now, it's just uh, mind-boggling. <laughs> Anyways guys, I think that is going to be it for this reaction video for my thousandth day. I don't really have any plans on celebrating. It's just kind of another day. This is my life now. <laughs> Intermittent fasting and I enjoy it and I like it. It makes me happy and it's uh, working for me. So there's that. Thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching this little video of my reaction. I'm really happy to be at a thousand days. It's a good life. <laughs> I will catch you guys on the next video.